Hello. Hey, I just got back from training. Yeah, these days I train in the morning and at night. <laughs> Look, I can't afford not to grab a medal this time, I beg. <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, I'm just getting ready to go to the shop and then the orphanage. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Zero. How do you feel now? I'm feeling good. Thank God, thank God. Uh, did you get the file I told Nancy to give you? No, not yet, Doctor. Okay, I'll tell her to send it to you. So you can calculate those bills, okay? Alright, sure. Nancy, can you please take the file to Ego for me? The one I told you so she calculates the bill, okay? Alright. Do -do -do. I don't know why you're making a whole big deal out of this thing. If this man doesn't want to strap you, go and help yourself. I can't. You can't do what? I can't cheat on Maurice because he's faithful. Who? Because he preaches the Bible to you all the time, right? Not because he preaches the Bible to me. Because I know he's a strong Christian. Please spare me all that. Have you heard about the so-called men of God who are deeply into adultery? <laughs> Not my Maurice. Hmm. He would never do that. Never. Uh-huh. And what would you do if you found out that he's doing it? <laughs> I would kill anyone that comes between Maurice and I. <laughs> I won't take it. <laughs> Please, can we have the fish? We're starving. Okay. Who's next? Is that enough? Good boy. You don't want stew? Oh, that's okay. Can I put stew for myself? I can. You don't mind? Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure you want more, huh? Good. Okay, so does everyone have stew? Yes. Does everyone have macaroni? Yes. Is everybody happy with their food? Yes. So what do we do next? Really? All right, so let's go. Good night. Uh, please don't forget the patient I told you about. Good night, Mr. Good night. Hi, Maurice. Hey, dear. How are you today? Oh, that's great. I'm at home with Peggy. Um, the AC guy is here, so he's um, expecting the AC one over here watching him. Um, it's Friday. Oh, Friday prayers, right? Yeah. Are you coming? Mm -mm. Honestly, I don't think I'll make it. Okay. I have a dinner meeting with a client. The one I told you about that wants to buy the property. He wants us to wrap up the deal tonight. Okay. Um, Maurice? 
Um, I'm, I'll, I promise I'll follow you to church when next you are going to church, okay? Dear, you've been saying this for the, the past couple of weeks now, and I just think if we have to take this to another level, we have to seek God first and ask for guidance. We need his guidance as we go forward. Madam! Madam! Um, Maris, can I call you back? Okay? Um. <sighs> Madam, your AC compressor has kept problem, as I can see them. think that the useless man didn't buy the house again. I just think he wanted to have dinner with me for a different reason. <laughs> you know, dear, I'm not trying to pressure you or anything, but uh, sometimes I just feel a bit compelled to tell you these things about God, you know, about Jesus. When we give priority, to things concerning God. He makes everything concerning us that are good for us work out almost effortlessly. Maurice, you talk about these things with so much passion. Sometimes I get confused. Yeah, I know there is Jesus, God exists. But what, what has that got to do with our everyday life? Everything. Everything. Isn't it? God doesn't bully his way into our lives. He would never do that. We have to let him in. And once we let him in, he puts us at the back seat and he takes the driver's wheel. And when he takes the driver's wheel, he makes everything we want to do, everything concerning us, everything about our lives work out quite easily. Okay, you win. Can we enjoy this meal now? Okay, <laughs> let's eat. Thank you. <laughs> Do you know how I made it this far? by putting God first, right? Exactly. Exactly. And um, by sometimes trying to uh, um, follow the Maurice, examples. Maurice, please can we enjoy this meal? Please? Okay, I'm sorry. Let's, let's eat. <laughs> Maurice. Yeah? I boasted to someone today that you would never cheat on me, even though we are not. <laughs> and I also boasted that I would kill 
anybody that tries to come between us. <laughs> ah, sorry. You know, I went to Ronnie and you know I don't like any distractions when I'm doing that, so I left you. So church for tomorrow, right? For sure. Yeah, sure, girlfriend. Tunde keeps distorting me from the moment. Which Tunde? The one we met at the restaurant, that your friend? Wait, is that not the man we met in the restaurant having dinner with another woman? Then when he saw me, he started winking. Is that not the same person? Eh? Who does that? Anyway, don't give him my number, please. You know, the game is just six months away. I don't need any distraction. Remember how... How that issue with Charles affected me, so... My friend, from what I understand, I know you need a man, but then you don't want to ride with me. Oh, wait. The only thing I need are the things God has set in motion for me. If a man is part of it, then fine. But please don't give that man my number. Don't give today my number. No, no, no. Bye. Tell you something. God is not man that he should lie. Yeah. Because when he says it, <laughs> his word corrects every situation. He says, I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am that I am. When he speaks, he corrects every situation. I do not care whatever the situation is speaking to you right now. I do not care what your doctor has said to you. I do not care what your landlord is saying to you. I do not care what your boss at work is doing to you. I do not care what the economists have said. And heaven knows I do not care what the Naira rate is against the dollar. Amen. Because when you invite God into a situation, there will be change. Because he is the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. That is the God I say. Sometimes in our lives, we face certain situations. And we Say to ourselves, does God really care? Other times, we say, can he take me out of the situation? Well, I have news for you. God cares. Again? I just wanted to help now that I can actually do it. You usually come on Wednesdays. Eh? Why couldn't you wait for extra two days instead of coming this far with a taxi? Huh? Mama, last time I was here, I noticed some things were finished. So I brought some things that may help with the children. That's all. 
Please accept this. Mama, we don't have to do this every time, please. I'll just take it. Please. I'm sorry, my daughter. I really thank God for you. Sometimes I keep on wondering what I would have done without you. Mama, we just thank God for everything, okay? We thank God. Mama, please don't do this. It's because of you I'm able to do any of this. So, so I should be telling you thank you for everything you've done for me. Hmm? Thank you, Mama. Now, that's my point. My point is, what happens to all those men and women out there who are lost and need Jesus? What happens to them? Well, perhaps you are right. But be careful. Don't end up being her convert instead. What? <laughs> come on, bro. Come on. Stop worrying about me. Okay? Anyways, uh, thanks for calling. Thanks for checking in on me, bro. I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Okay, bye-bye. Have you, have you taken Ovitus? Yes, Doctor. Doctor William stabilized her.
You're crying. I can't. I can't die. I can't die. Please, I can't. Whoever told you you were going to die? My body. My body feels so cold. My body feels so cold on my chest. My chest, my heart. My heart feels heavy. <laughs> okay, so look at me. Look at me. You are not going to die, okay? Not now. God won't let you die now. Amen. 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 Okay. Um... I have a few questions for you to answer for me. Let me get a chair and sit right close to you, okay? Prior to last night, uh, did you ever feel anything uh, strange in your body? It's okay, you can just nod your head or shake your head for yes or no. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes I... Sometimes... Sometimes I felt... My heart... I, I don't know how to... I don't know how to explain it. But it usually happens when I'm running. Running up? What do you do? I own a store. Okay. But I'm an athlete. An athlete? I'm an athlete. 200 and 400 meters. And I've been training for the All African Games. That's all I've been doing. I've been training every day, working hard, training. I, I cannot it's okay. die it's now. Okay. I, I can't die now. It's I can't. okay. You're... It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Um, do you have any family or anybody we could contact? Okay. Yeah, my, my, my mom. Your mother. Oh, good, good. Okay, mm. can I get a contact? You know, the hospital. The hospital needs somebody to make an initial deposit uh, as we try to find out what's really going on with you. I didn't bring my phone. I didn't bring my phone out. My phone. Where are my keys? My phone is. My the, phone the is keys, in my we, house. we have your keys. We. My phone. The, the stranger, the stranger who brought you here, brought uh, your keys. But uh, you know you can't go home like this. You can't go home in this, in this condition. So, uh, is there any way you can remember the number, your mom's number, so I can just call her to come over? My mom's number. My mom's number. I want somebody zero seven zero three zero seven zero. Wait, sorry, wait, zero seven zero three. Okay. Zero. Then there's there's an eight. Okay, okay. zero seven zero eight. three eight. No, no, the eight is not after the three. I can't, I can't remember. I can't remember my mom's number. I can't, I can't remember my mom's number. Okay, okay. Baby. It's okay, it's okay. She'll be so, oh, cool. She'll be so worried. Okay. She'll be so worried right now. Wait, 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 do you know where I can find her? I can find her with the ch she's with the children at the orphanage. You, you can find her at the small orphanage. It's, it's, yes. Yeah. The orphanage. Yeah, it's a small orphanage, but she's with them. Which, which orphanage? It's called Hope. Hope Orphanage. The children are dead. Mom. She's... She's dead. I can't just, 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 It's okay. It's okay. I can't say no. I will find your mom. I will go and find your mom myself. Please. And, I, and, I, and I, I will make sure she comes here. Please. Because we, we need somebody to make a deposit as we try to uh, find out what's really going on with you. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna tell the nurses to keep watching you. Whatever you need for now, to keep you stable, they will do it. Okay? Please. Until I get back to the hospital. Please. God will not let you to die. Okay? Please. Okay. Just stay calm. Please. It's okay. Please.
Mama. Mama is switched off. I've been calling her since. I just hope she's okay. Oh, God. Mama, I don't know. No. They say the number is not reachable. I'll try one more time. The number you are trying to reach is currently unavailable. Same try thing. Look, this is my card. I'm going to keep trying her number as I go, but uh, just in case she gets here before I can reach her, please tell her to call me, okay? Okay. Sir, hope there is no problem. Uh -huh. Sir, this is Mama. You've barely touched your food. So I'm just a bit frustrated, as well. Why? Is it about the same patient? Mm -hmm. Why the sudden interest in her? <laughs> I mean, you attend to other patients too. She needs a surgery, and I don't think she can afford a surgery. Then she has just one option left. She can't die! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Morris? I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you dare raise your voice at me because of one poor thing? Chantel, I... I didn't mean to raise my voice at you. I didn't mean to raise my voice at you. I, can you just stop saying that that's something? Please. I must have been wrong to have thought you have some respect for me. Rubbish. Chazelle. Chazelle. Hello, Peggy, where are you? Home. Is anything the matter? Somebody's about to die. 